Okay, begin by logging into sakaipilot.unc.edu and you land in my workspace. Notice that all your announcements from all the different sites you belong to are in one click. You also have a calendar. You can see that you have a lab session, but you want to add a personal appointment that only you can see. So you click on add and you type in dentist. Give it a time. And then, of course, you want to remember to bring your insurance card. And this is a special event. You don't have to change that. That's optional. Just changes the icon that displays. And now we can see today we've got lab. Tomorrow there's a dentist. And if we go to the home page for our workspace, we can also change the options for how the calendar displays. I like to see it a month at a time. Next, let's go to resources. This is where you can store your own files. So you can upload one file at a time, and I'm going to upload my insurance information. But you can also upload and download multiple resources. And so what you would do is highlight, and the directions are there, highlight the URL and copy it. On a Mac, all we need to do is go to the Go menu and connect to server. We paste that URL in and connect, and you'll be prompted for your onion and password. And then you can map that drive. So then we just drag and drop, and I'm gonna drag and drop my Spanish homework. And I've got multiple files inside a folder. And there you can see that's the set of files that I uploaded. In order to see them, we need to refresh now you can see a Spanish folder was added with three files in it. So drag and drop, put your files up there, and then you can easily copy and move them to other sites. You can add a web page, a, a URL, citations, a whole host of uh, formats. And so here we have a link to UNC. Next we'll go to profile, and this is where you can update your information You'll be prompted to put in first name, last name, etc. Keep in mind that this information is viewable through the roster tool in the different sites you belong to. We like to point out preferences because you will get notified of all high priority announcements that come from your sites, but you can opt in or out of lower priority. So check out those uh, defaults and change them if you want to. You can also edit the tools that display in your workspace. So click on Edit, Edit Tools, and then I'm going to deselect the Blogger tool, the News tool, and uh, the Web Content and Wiki tools. I know I'm not going to use them. And then click Finish, and now you can see my menu changed on the left. So those are just a few of the things that you can do in my workspace.